This is one of the artists. I mean, we're friends, but he's also an artist. And I told him, I want an intro. And I said, you can do something to an old school beat, or you can go in with something fresh. He said, I got you. And when he sent it to me, I like lost it. Yeah. I had a DJ, I had to like take his name out. He's not part of the show anymore. <laughs> you don't get any promo and you're not part of the show anymore. I mean, we friends, but that's about as far as that goes, buddy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss, miss him though. We, we, he, he, because our personalities, we were the same time, and our personalities just went together. Yeah. So it worked. He knew what I wanted from a, uh, from a DJ perspective because we're both DJs. So he knew what I wanted and what I liked. So we worked together. Did you send the link? I sent it to your uh, inbox. Chicago, we in the building. You already know what it is, y'all. Live right now, UIC Radio with your boy DJ L, the Underground Radio Show. You know what it is, y'all. It is the season finale. It is the end of the year for me. These kids and had the finals already. There's some staff downstairs. I don't even know who they are, but shout out to them. That lets me know that everybody is gone already because they looked at me like, uh, who are you? You need your ID, sir. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay, though. Uh, I understand. That's their job. Hey, um, I know they're probably not listening, but I'm going to give them a shout out anyway. Shout out to the students from Northeastern Illinois University. They're graduating from the pavilion right now. So that is awesome to see people going to the next level in life and completing things so i mean i definitely want to shout that out i got a lot to talk about y'all um as you know this is the season finale i'm going to pretty much give you a uh, a short version of how great this year been this year has been and some of the people i've had a chance to interview talk to some of the events it's a lot to cover and we're definitely going to do that but on top of that we got my homie uh the always hilarious jay davis coming in later and we are going to have some ghetto jeopardy so i hope y'all ready like it's gonna be y'all already know when it come to ghetto jeopardy it's not gonna be nice especially dealing with this guy uh so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned uh we're gonna have an awesome show uh had a couple of hiccups uh unfortunately our author won't be in the building she actually uh is under the weather which i can understand man it's pneumonia weather joe i mean it's 60 degrees man and they talking about like 30 sometime like later on this week so Enjoy it now. If you're barbecuing, please hit my line, 312-413-2191. I will stop through and get a plate. If you need me to, like, pick up, like, a 12-pack of Pepsi or something, I got you. Don't even trip. If you don't drink Pepsi, just tell me what you drink. I got you. Now, I'm only supplying uh, non-alcoholic beverages. I don't, uh, like, supply drinks for your house. If I do come, I'm petty. I'm going to come with, like, my own, like, half pint. Uh, <laughs> that's just me or like a 22, you know, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that guy, but, uh, man, y'all make sure y'all keep it locked right here to UIC radio where music and culture ignite, man. And we are going to get into what this year has been right now. You know how it is. I got to keep a shot town right now with my homie who's actually celebrating his birthday. Heard he turned up last night and he's supposed to turn up tonight with all like a bunch of awesome DJs that I know. Uh, shout out to my man, Jeff the Ellis. Man, one of the one of the doper DJs that I know in this city, man. He's definitely a DJ's DJ. He actually uses real wax. He is a record collector. This dude's record collection is bananas. So, uh, man, shout out to you, homie. And this one is classic joints with classic me featuring Fillmore Green, y'all. Let's get it. This is what I do. All you rappers out here playing this BS, it's enough of that. Free One of my buddies, he called me today. He was like, man, I met J.D.I. yesterday. I said, yeah, that's my boy. He said, he's official. I'm like, I know. <laughs> he's like, he has music on Google Play. I know. <laughs> he's like, I thought he was just a DJ. No, he produces and everything. And he's like, literally, he makes me sick. He puts up videos on Facebook of him spinning like classic records. I'm like... Oh. Wait a minute, I gotta see something. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, I said Man. My bitch, you never get in the next, next to incredible. Classic style. Everything about me is classic. Wow. Yeah. Remember she went to the army? Mm -hmm. I thought it was the other Chantel. I was going to say, okay. Got you from the magic Okay. We've been having technical difficulties sometimes, so I have to, like, double check and make sure that we are good. Because last week, I, like, went on a rant about the whole uh, Chirac movie. And yeah. uh, as I was going on my rant. Did you see it? Yes. I saw it uh, opening day. One of my buddies is in it, uh, El Dorado Jones. So uh, I went and saw it. So I had to give my view and my opinion on the, on the movie. I mean, I can't have an opinion. I see it. Like, most, like, unfortunately, most of our people in the city have an opinion and never saw it. UIC Radio. I do, I do, I do. Okay, and what's your name, sweetie? All right. Oh, cool, Angela. Angel. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I will let her know because right now we're, um, we're we're playing music right now. So uh, I do appreciate you calling and make sure you tune in because we're going to have a fun interview. Okay. No problem. Angel said she loves you. She's going to get back into one of these rehearsals. And uh, <laughs> she loves the album. <laughs> you are popular. USC Radio. All right. Yes, she is. She is not on air yet. Uh, the show just started. Uh, she'll be on air within the hour, though. So uh, if you give us a call back, uh, if we're on air, I'll go ahead and get you on air and let you talk to her. But I can tell you, you're calling right now. What's your name? Got you. Okay, I will let her know. Uh, like, give us a call back in like 30, 30 to 45 minutes. All right. Bill Huff? Bill, he said y'all used to sing back, back in the day. Last name Huff? Yeah. 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 Heard the Real shot town, y'all. Real shot town. These lines is blowing up. I can guarantee you it ain't because of me. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put this call on the air. This is what we're going to do real live right here. <laughs> hey, what's going on? You on UIC Radio with your boy DJ L on the Underground Radio Show. Uh, chilling right now. We got Angela Martin in the studio. Who is this? Hey. Hi, my baby. Yes, you can. <laughs> hey, I miss you too, my BFF. <laughs> uh, I just want to call and tell you that I'm loving what you're doing right now. I'm loving the new music. Congratulations on your album Thank out you. there. Thank you Girl, so I'm much. So proud of you. I love you. You know how we uh, you know, we grew up together and we went to high school and I just love you. I'm proud of you as well. And thank you for calling in. Yeah, I miss her and, too. And um, y'all, y'all are the reason I'm in the place I am today. So I'm glad. I'm so happy for you right now. I love you, girl. I love you so much. Kiss my babies for me. All right. Well, um, you reach out to me sometime, okay? I will. I will. And thank you so much, baby. Be blessed, okay? All right. Take okay. Care. All right. You too. That is awesome. That is dope. Aww, we need we so need started her, we need started her interview yet, y'all. This is bananas. I'm not gonna be able to get to nothing in a minute. <laughs> What's going on? You on live with UIC Radio, the underground radio show with your boy DJ L. Got Angela Martin in the studio. Her yeah. interview hasn't started yet, but you can talk to her. What's going on? Uh, I just wanted to know uh, what else is she working on. 
Oh, I'm working on a lot of things. A tour uh, right now. Well, let me ask you this. What's your name? Watson. Watson. Um, have you got the album yet? Yeah, I got it. Do you like the album? I love it. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. But I'm working on a lot of things. I'm auditioning for movies, plays, everything like that. So 2016, just be ready for me and just keep in contact with me on social media. It's AngelaMusic.com. And um, just look out for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Bye. Okay. All right. I ain't answering no more phone calls. We got a show to do. Uh <laughs> Because <laughs> we ain't gonna uh, obviously this young lady is so popular that we're not gonna be able to get anything done. So <laughs> this is this is love. Okay, we're gonna take this last call and we're gonna get into some music because then yeah. we got to come back and talk. Okay. All right, you on live right now, UIC Radio with your boy DJ L on the Underground Radio Show. Uh we got Angela Martin in the studio. Haven't started talking to her yet, but you can talk to her for a minute. Yo. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Angela? Hey. This is Tony, your number one fan. Hey, Tony. Tony. Hey, sis, how are you? Good. I was just listening to your album. Who is she is my favorite. Nice. Yay, yay, yay. Who is she? I love it. Thank you so much I for know. your support. I am so excited. I just had to call in and show you some love. Thank you. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you on New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah, New Year's. <laughs> yeah, we got to hang out. Yes, yes, at Untitled, at Untitled. So uh, I'm going to get all that together, you know, <laughs> during the interview process. All right, well, much love, huh? I love you. Be blessed, okay? All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. right, y'all. We're getting ready to get into the Chi-Town music. Uh, the big homie Beneficial, man. Uh, shout out to this dude. He he came in and said a very um, astute P word uh, that you don't hear too often from young black men, which is he's a philanthropist. And I try saying that three times fast. Uh, and he does a lot for youth and communities. And right now we're getting ready to get into one of my personal favorites of his. I appreciate you. Right here on UIC Radio. Yes, I'm on my R&B ish. We got Angela Martin here. That's what we on. Yo. Let's get it, y'all. <laughs> when he came in and I interviewed him, he came in and sang "God Bless the Child." I just oh sat here. Goodness. I just sat here with my mouth open, like He's, I don't. I don't know. Is people, he again? He again? Beneficial. <laughs> Disregard the little things you say. I don't appreciate And I listen to this. I'm like, oh my god, like, dude, really? And he's like, such a nice guy, like, like, he's like, he's not like that. I'm an RB singer, no, he's like extra, like, cool. Mm. I think on your fan page you can only tag people that are like in that that are like following on your fan page. Right. Yeah. I'm new at this social media. I gotta really start. Uh oh. Hello. He's in the building. How are oh. you? Nutball in the building. Nice to meet you. You too. What's going on, man? So, you know, I got beef with you, right? What happened? Let me tell you why I got beef with you. Because you put up the people your cast and that don't fit none of those type casts. So, I got beef with you, man. I can't do anything with none of those characters, man. We got to break them up because I didn't want 200 people showing up like last time. So we do oh, so this is the first one. Okay, so I'm reading like, <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Italian. All right, I'm not a dude. <laughs> no. UIC Radio. All right, we are currently playing music, but she is in the studio. I can tell you, you said, hi, what's your name? Jasmine Velasquez. 
she said she loves your album. Uh, okay, so if you want to speak with her, give us like about 30 minutes and we'll have on air. You can talk to her live on air. All right. Um, January 10th, I probably won't uh, have you back until the final week because I'm going to have a live band and I got to clear all this crap out. Oh, you're going to have a band here? Uh, these dope guys called Dope Fantasy. They like the roots. Oh, I'm not Dope Fantasy. Yeah, they. I'm not Dope Fantasy. Bananas, Joe. Yeah. I went to a, a concert at the Elbow Room and they got on the stage. I'm like, who is the guy with all the instruments? And when they got up there, I'm like, yeah, I ended up just three of them, like about a year and a half ago. Okay, that person has to wait now. Y'all hear that R&B, y'all. It's real live in the building, man. It's alive. Shout out to the homie Beneficial. We're going to take this call real quick, and I'm going to turn this phone off. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> what's going on? You on live right now with UIC Radio with your boy, DJ L. Talk to me. Hello? I know I ain't tweaking. Okay, well, they hung up. Okay, so we're going to turn the phone off. I'm not taking any more calls. Uh, let me uh, let me say this. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone that's listening, all the people that eventually will watch, because uh, this is going on YouTube as usual, so it's not a big deal. Hi to people that watch on YouTube. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, I'd like to get into what I've done this year. Now, uh, for one, this has been a trying year as well as an awesome year for me. Um, I got my start. Uh, just a little short history. I got my start actually as a co-host on so on on someone else's show, and uh, got uh, blessed with the opportunity to have my own show, which uh, kicked off November twenty third of two thousand and fourteen. And since then, when I say like just blessed beyond measure of having like the city just rock with me, it's been bananas. Um, I've had some great guests. I'm only going to name a certain amount, but I've I've been able to do some great things in radio. Uh, first of all, to even be able to do the things I've done in radio with what happened this year, it's it, it's been a blessing to those that may have just started listening or just started watching. I suffered an injury in March of this year. I uh, broke my ankle in three places and completely tore my ligaments in my knee and my other leg. So it's, it was rough. And me being the man that I am, I didn't care about the injuries. I was mad as hell. I couldn't be on the radio. Uh, <laughs> that was what I was mad about because it's like, you know, this is my passion. This is what I love. And I, my schedule was pretty much set for the next two months. So I had a lot of damage control to do. Had a lot of people to call back. <laughs> and uh, I was pretty much out for like six months. And like those were the roughest six months, not just because of the injury, but because I love what I do. I love this and not being able to do this like really hurt. So when I was able to come back, it was great, but I'm going to get into that. First of all, the beginning of this year, my kickoff show was awesome. I kicked off my year with a radio veteran in this city. Now, he's not from this city, but you wouldn't know it because he loves the city like he's from it. I got to interview the one and the only Mike Love the beginning of this year, which was awesome. I mean, to have a guy that I looked up to when I was in high school, he used to come out to the high schools and like kick it and give out free gear and, you know, everybody walking around with a GCI t-shirt and hat and, you know, the whole bad boy thing. To have a guy that this is his job to do what I do. And he allowed me to interview him and come into the studio. Like this wasn't over the phone. This wasn't Skype. He was sitting right there in that seat, you know, and was like just dropping knowledge. That was dope. Uh, my homegirl, Kay Valentine, uh, Bananas uh, rapper, female rapper, puts it down. Uh, the homie D'Lo got to interview him earlier this year. Uh, he is a very humble young man. Uh, you know, he definitely has not let the fame go to his head. Uh, my homies chives up. Shout out to them, Dolls. Lotto, I know you're out there. Classic. I mean, them my bros. We go we go all the way back. Uh, the homie A-Way making a lot of noise right now. Leoski D. Uh, I actually did something different in February. Now, in February, I quote-unquote, as it was coined by GCI, stopped the hits and uh, didn't focus on any music. I only focused on community events and things like that. And this year, it was something in particular that I really wanted to... I wanted to do something completely different. And what I did, I got a chance to interview the uh the ladies of alpha psi kappa now that's not your standard fraternity or sorority they're actually an alternative sorority and fraternity uh for the lbgt community so that i think that's pretty dope uh that they have their own fraternity and sorority so it was dope to have them in here and in february i did something which has become quite a staple for my show it was my first relationship show now <laughs> for those that are fans uh you can go on the youtube page i have my own youtube page it's dj el the T H A 
conductor. And you can see the relationship shows. Uh, this brother in here, uh, Mr. Poet, is not going to want to hear this. But the Bears tied the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bears. you should be happy. They tied the game. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, I, hey, I got people that are not watching the game to listen to me. Right. So I have to let them know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> So, hey, maybe her jersey's working. Yep. Uh, so uh, the relationship show was bananas. It was my very first time doing anything like that. Uh, and I had a great panel of people. And we gave away two gift baskets. We gave away a spa basket. And we gave away, like, the best basket in the world that I wanted to keep. There was, like, glasses with, like, chocolate-covered rims and, like, two bottles of Moscato, like, it was going to be one bottle, but I figured, you know, I'd go ahead and let them take take the basket. You can laugh. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> let it out. Don't hide it, okay? Please don't. Please don't. Because once once we get in the ghetto jeopardy, there will be no hiding the laugh, okay? Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I got you. Um, my homie, uh, Kid Roll. Shout out to Fury. Man, my bros, Kid Bodie. Before the injury, this was like, in my opinion, every one of my shows is awesome. Please don't get me wrong. But this was like, at that point, the best show of my career, next to the interview with Mike Love, I had the incomparable T.L. Williams in the studio. And what made it so phenomenal was he actually played the horn live for me in the studio. Now, for anyone that knows him, he really doesn't do that. Uh, <laughs> so to have him come in and actually play the horn and sing the song, you know, in the studio, that was pretty dope. Now, of course, like I said, I went out in March. Now, I came back in August. August 23rd was the quote-unquote return of DJ L in the Underground Radio Show. So, me being the trendsetter that I like to be, I did something that isn't normally done in radio. Now, I only got two hours. So, what I did within them two hours is I had a show dedicated to nothing but rappers. Now, I don't mean playing music. I invited every rapper that had ever been on the show, that wanted to be on the show, and we had a straight hour and a half freestyle session. Just And when I say it was thick in here, it was thick. I had like 25 guys in here. Y'all see the size of the studio. Yeah. Imagine 25 rappers in here, okay? <laughs> I had guys running back in. All right, my turn on the mic. Yeah, I'm standing over somebody, you know? <laughs> so it was intense. But, I mean, just to know that when I called them, they came at the drop of a dime. It wasn't like, I don't know if I could do it, you know? And they brought people, and now they're fans, you know? Of course, I brought back the relationship show. Had to do that. And we have covered some topics. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Go on the YouTube page, y'all. It's real. Uh, shout out to my girl Puggy V, uh, dope female MC Tamara Bubble, uh, straight out of New York. I don't, it, you know, it's amazing how far the internet reaches and how people contact you. Like she's out of New York and she like contacted me, and I like felt so fortunate that this person from New York that I don't even know contacted me to want to be on the show, which is pretty dope. Uh, the homie, straight out the shy, LP the Assassin. Uh, speaking of LP the Assassin, let me throw this in real quick. For those that may be looking for something to do, today at 4 p.m. at Refuge Live over on Clark Street, uh, they are having a, uh, it's called Six Sundays, but they're having a coat drive. Free entry if you bring in a coat. A gently used or new coat. Please don't come in there with that coat with the duct tape on it because the down feathers is coming out. Please don't come in there with that. Well, for, for those that don't put duct tape, electrical tape, whatever tape you use, don't come in there with the triple fat goose joint and like you missing half the feathers in one of your sleeves. Oh don't do that. God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bring in a decent coat, you know what I'm saying? And wash it before you bring it. Don't, don't, don't come in there with the coat. You didn't sweat it. Look, y'all know how ratchet people can be. And I'm only saying this because I know there's some ratchet people out here. <laughs> Shout out to the homie, uh, discreet, Mr. E, Giorgio, Amaya. She's doing big things. She's been out of River Oaks Mall, like performing and like had a whole set up. Kids were coming, getting autographs. It was awesome. Shout out to the homie BT He is like really working the game right now, man. Shout out to you, bro. I see you. Uh, the remedy. If y'all don't know who they are, y'all gonna learn real quick. These boys are phenomenal. Uh, I'm sorry, let me correct that. These men are phenomenal. Uh, shout out to the homie Fail Davis. Uh, speaking of Fail Davis, I had a chance to do something this year that was pretty awesome. I had a chance to put together my first concert, uh, and it was called In Case You Forgot About R&B. Had a great lineup. Some of the people I mentioned include Mr. E. Um, I, had, I had the beautiful young lady, Amanya. Uh, that came in and rocked the house. Jay Soul, he brought a whole band. The Remedy was their own band. They just went a cappella and sang classics and lit the place on fire. If you guys want to see their interview, that's on YouTube as well. And they sang in the studio. And they don't sing nothing but old school classic songs, like that good old school harmony. So you definitely uh, want to check them out. Uh, public announcement closed it out for me. And when I say these guys 
acted a whole fool. You can tell that they've been singing together forever because they acted a whole fool the whole time they were there. And it was great. Uh, shout out to the homegirl, Jay Lynn. Uh, she's been here. Shaky Sean. My girl from uh, L.A. by way of Baltimore, Brave Williams, uh, star of almost everything on VH1, MTV, and BET. But uh, more recently, R&B Divas of L.A. Uh, she came through. The homie Darius Clark, Reggie Webb out of Baltimore. Got to give a shout out to the homie Sinatra. He came through here and just like was rude, like on the mic and not in a bad way, like in a great way. Like, uh, you know, I had one of the young men that was in here freestyling and he kind of paused. So Sinatra just started rapping from his seat and got up and got on the mic like, oh, this is what I do. And just like got real nasty. So shout out to him. Shout out to my homegirl, Lanisha, a.k.a. Otap, the homie Coast Steel. My guest DJs that have been in here, DJ Flash, man, shout out to you, bro. Uh, DJ Radio Raheem. My homie DJ P1 uh, that has that event down there, the Coat Drive at Six Sundays. The homie DJ T Rail, DJ Q11, man, uh, my relationship panel, my homie Calvin Brown, uh, Toyka Star, my boy Art, Otap, she came through and did it. And uh, definitely want to thank my homegirl Liz from Naked Dreams Entertainment. She had me host a red carpet this year, and it was bananas. I got, like, gangsta off the red carpet. I don't know how, and I'm the host, but it happened. Um, and shout out to everybody that was there, man. I met some awesome people there that night. Lydia Harris, for those who don't know who that is, uh, she co-founded Death Row Records. So it was dope to just sit down and um, get some knowledge from her. Interview coming with her real soon, too. Video interview. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. Shout out to my homie El Dorado Jones. That was in the uh, Chirac movie. Had a chance to interview him in studio as well. Uh, that video is on YouTube as well if you want to check that out. Apex Graphics, man. Big shout out to them. They took a lot of my videos and pictures during my quote unquote um, build up to the concert. And uh, all my fans, my loyal listeners, shout out to my graphic arts designer, Bangs, man. He, my, my flyers are dope. Man, even shout out, man, the beginning of the year, I had a DJ. Shout out to my previous DJ, man, DJ Preach, man. He uh, DJs for the homie Austin Fillmore. So definitely shout out to him. Man, the streets that support me, the fans, the artists that came to visit me in the hospital, that called me, that hit me on Facebook. Man, I appreciate y'all. Y'all just don't know. I mean, I, I know that, you know, it seems like I'm going on and on, but I have so many people to thank. It's ridiculous. Like to be in the hospital.